welcome back to the channel and guess what today is friday so you know what that means that means it's time for your friday's five minute financial tip i got five minutes let's go ahead and get started so have you ever had a situation where i used to do this a lot when i was younger or when i first moved out of my mom's house first started out being an adult or what have you i used to get paid and know okay i have bills to pay so then I said, okay, well, I know I need to pay the electric bill. I know I need to pay the water bill. I know I need to pay this bill. And you just start paying bills. Just start paying bills. Then next thing you know, you, you think you're done. So now you go and start splurging, buying shoes, getting your hair done, get your nails done, all that type of stuff. Then you get that late notice in the mail. You forgot to pay your cable bill or what have you. And now you're out of money. So what happens is... In situations like that, I would be like, okay, well, then I go looking for my bills and realize, you know what? The cable, I got paid on the first. The cable bill was due on the third, but I paid the electric bill, which wasn't due to the 22nd. So really, I should have paid the cable bill first versus the electric bill. What do you do? My tip for you is very, very simple. Keep it simple. Write it down. And you say, okay, write it down. What does that mean? This is what I used to do when I first started out, you know, as an adult. I would get myself, I had a calendar similar to this, or you can do it in a planner style, just anything. All you need is a calendar, date, year, write out all the dates. And what I would do, I'm, I'm visual, so I like color coding things. So I would always, whenever I got paid, this is just an example. These are not my real expenses. But when I would get paid on whatever days I got paid, I would write those days in green green symbolizes money i would then when my bills would come into the mail i would then put them on this calendar and i would put them in red so now what happens is i see okay i get paid on the first the rent is due the car notes due i need to put out some money for elect for groceries i need to save some money to put gas in the car for the next two weeks my water bill is due on the fifth and my gas bill is due on the 11th so anything that is due before I get paid again on the 15th, those are the bills that you need to go ahead and pay with that check on the 1st. Next time uh, bills come due or you get paid on the 15th, anything that's due after those days before you get paid again the next month on the 1st, those are the bills that you used to pay or you would pay. So uh, it really seems like, okay, Crystal, that, that that's just such a simple thing. Why would anybody do that? Because you would be surprised at how something simple like this that people don't do. And, and this causes you to end up paying bills before they're due and not paying bills when they are due or that are due sooner than something else and creating late fees. This simple tip of just writing things down on a calendar is something about writing things down um, in paper that somehow solidifies it in your brain. I know that, you know, yes, we this is 2023. A lot of people like the digital format. If that works for you, fine. Do it in a digital format. Use your calendar on your phone. Um, they have planner apps or whatever you want to use, but just write it down some kind of way. So therefore you keep organization. Organization is one of the keys to making sure you pay bills on time, making sure you get out of debt. So that is my five minute financial tip for you all today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.